Roger. Roger. Um, we're disconnected at the moment, but it has been connected. We've got some pretty funky sensor calibration here. Uh, There's quite a bit of work to do. Quite clearly, the uh, base calibration from Greg wasn't up to much. I don't know what he's loaded on here. A um, couple of other interesting observations, other than the fact that um, uh, we're seeing obviously 20% uh, TPS, and apparently it's uh, minus 36 on the um, on the coolant temperature. Um, um, clearly, everything is out of whack, and this calibration that he loaded on here, if he loaded anything at all, is wrong. So, um, what I can do um, is show you that it does all connect up. There we go, bottom left hand corner. Sorry about the poor quality of the video, but uh, there we go, mate. It's all connected up, so um, that's working. And the other thing I noticed is um, we got oil pressure, okay? Uh, so that must be a direct feed uh, from our oil pressure sensor. And uh, we've also got um, a fuel gauge. Our coolant temperature is obviously going to be low. And um, odometer, as we'd expect, a couple of warning lights, but that's something or nothing. Um, obviously, we've got no um, engine management light on, um, which is fine. I expected that. But this is the real interesting bit. Um, with the ignition on, just watch that rev counter. So um, there's obviously some drive there. And I, I have cranked the car with the ECU. And, um, you know, obviously the car cranks, but um, it's not firing. So I don't think he's loaded any kind of a decent... Um, or correct calibration on there. Um, uh, it certainly seems that the sensors aren't um, correctly configured. So it's all a little bit disappointing. Uh, not insurmountable though. Uh, I think there's a bit more work to be done here. So I'll be going back to Greg on Tuesday to say this ain't working for me. Um, other than that, you know, EC looks um, pretty good in the enclosure and uh, the delivery was good and Greg picks up the phone so that's fine the fact that this uh, rev counter is twitching like this indicates to me with ignition on we're getting some kind of signal through um, to uh, the rev counter driver from the ECU um, I see that and this lot as a positive if I'm honest with you mate because um, clearly there's something going on there um, you don't really see this come up too much, but you see about 200, 250 RPM on the software. Uh, so I think uh, it's a case of going back to him and running through what I can see and um, what I can't, what's working, what's not. And um, I'm going to download the calibration now from the ECU and uh, sit there uh, in the comfort of my lounge and um, have a look and see exactly what he's got. Uh, clearly the sensors are no good. I can also um, calibrate the uh, throttle position sensor, but it looks like all the other sensors are out as well, so uh, might not be worth even doing that. So, uh, yeah, there you go, that's it. All right then, uh, not exactly brilliant, but, uh, you know, I think um, I think we have, to, uh, uh, we have to keep with it, and um, I don't feel that this is an absolute disaster. I just feel that this is um, just something that needs to be discussed with Greg and see if he can get a better base map on it um, it's you know it clearly needs more work if I have to um, obviously I'm going to put the uh, Ford ECU back in now um, and I have to drive it up to him um, uh, it's not the end of the world I've got a little bit of holiday coming so um, I'm sure we'll get it sorted all right thanks for listening